So, um, it's a very good question. Who has the responsibility for keeping New Zealand's waterways clean, clear and uh, swimmable? Uh, we've got 9 million cows in New Zealand. We've got 35, 40 million sheep. The amount of cow pats or cow poo that ends up on paddocks, that's in the region of billions of tonnes a year. The impact of our operations today will have ongoing impacts for the next few decades. I am very passionate about dung beetles, but most especially about what they can do to improve our environment. There's been a lot of rhetoric about where the next big conflict will come from. One of the big things that's been pushed is it won't be over power, it won't be over land, it will be over water. The quality of streams in New Zealand over recent decades, my feeling would be that it's declined. The contamination from livestock in our freshwater ecosystems is huge. The amount of cow pats or cow poo that ends up on paddocks. It's in the region of billions of tonnes a year. That's washed into the streams in a rain event or fairly quickly after it's been deposited. That entire volume of organics and faecal contamination goes straight into the water course. That degrades the water, it increases the oxygen demand on the water, it's adding nitrogen and phosphorus to the water and in high levels, raising the level of algal growth and then you can end up with whole ecosystems crashing because of a lack of oxygen and basically a toxic soup caused by too much ammonia in there. So this, um, this is those basic water quality tests that we were doing before, so it says, measures the amount of oxygen in the water. And it should be, ideally it should be 100%, but this is currently reading 60.8%. Uh, so at this time of day, that's basically saying the system's quite degraded. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. I would have expected even for a impacted watercourse like this to at least have found short fin eels. I don't think making 90% of rivers and lakes in New Zealand is achievable in the next 20 years. I think it's an aspirational goal. I don't think it's an achievable goal. I'm Dr. Sean Forgey. I'm a, uh, a specialist in dung beetles and I've been doing work with dung beetles since 1994 so I've been doing this for 20 odd years now. Dung beetles they represent the only on pasture solution to improving, well should I say reducing the amount of surface runoff that's coming off the pastures and going into our waterways. And when you look at it in the context of how many poos are produced by livestock in New Zealand a year, well we've got 9 million cows in New Zealand, we've got 35, 40 million sheep, each one of them produce 10 piles of poo a day. It's an awful lot of accumulation of poo sitting on the pasture surface not going anywhere unless you bury it rapidly. And we can only do that by dung beetles. Dung beetles impact on improving the local pastoral ecosystem is quite profound. Now if you bring in a dung beetle and it flies straight to that cow pad it gets populated by a whole suite of dung beetles. They basically set about the whole process of creating all these galleries and tunnels beneath that cow pad, and they instantaneously remove all of that pastoral dung from the surface down into these tunnels and galleries and fill that with balls which they use for making babies and putting grubs and eggs inside. That whole process of removing that dung from the pasture surface means it's in the ground rather than on the surface. And so in a rainfall event, there's less available on the pasture surface to run off into the water to contaminate it. That means there's 80% less contaminant entering our waterways before it even gets to the other mitigating tools, which are uh, riparian plantings and fencings. So 
on pasture, it's probably the only really self-sustainable preventative tool. Roughly 600 kilograms of cow shit. Ready for breakfast. So if you can imagine, and you can see how much manure is on this paddock. So if you can imagine this being repeated over hundreds of thousands of hectares across New Zealand, with all this manure that's just lying on the paddock, in a heavy rain event, all this manure, significant amounts of it would run off into the creeks, into the streams, land up in the rivers, and cause all the problems that we have. Tip some of that in. And then tip these guys in. That's what the farmer would essentially do in his paddock. And that would be his part done. The beetles will then look after themselves, they will multiply, they will move about, they will follow the herds, and over a period of time, multiply, and hopefully take over the farm, in a good way. We've had a couple of uh, clinical trials done on the farm which have involved counting the faecal eggs which um, you know, animals in ingest uh, parasites. Um, those parasites lay, lay eggs and those eggs you know, come out when the animal defecates. The egg numbers are much lower than they should otherwise be. So we put that down to the fact that the dung beetles, by carrying out their biological process and taking the dung down, um, actually kill the nematodes and so um, that's, that's the benefit that I see. The question, who is responsible for keeping New Zealand's waterways clean? It's really easy, it's all of us. I think in New Zealand we take it for granted because we have a lot of water here. The problem is, is that we're dealing, or going to be dealing with subpar quality water. We are making up for some of the mistakes that have been made previously. Land that should have, shouldn't have been farmed is now being retired. I'd like to be able to provide the actual solution for New Zealand to actually say when we advertise this country as a clean, green country that it actually is clean and green country. 99% of farmers want to leave the farm better than the state they found it in. I think dung beetles could have a really valuable role in helping us solve our freshwater problems. I think that they are one tool in a toolbox. We're all part of it. We're all part of the problem. We should all be part of the solution. <laughs>